Hi, this is a video tour of my uh, Music from Outer Space noise toaster build, um, which I did uh, a few months back, maybe six or eight months ago, and uh, mostly followed uh, the conventions uh, called out in the uh, uh, the, the Make Maker book um, that uh, Ray Wilson had written with a couple of the mods uh, that I found on the um, Music From Outer Space website. So anyway, I'll do a full demo of the, the sound a little bit later, but this is just an introduction of the, uh, the mechanical stuff, right? So to build this kit, I only put together, I only bought the, um, the faceplate and the uh, PCB. That was it. And I supplied the rest of the stuff myself, right? So this is a, a Hammond box, pretty, pretty standard stuff. Um, put some markings on there, uh, put the feet in the bottom, Cut some holes in it for a speaker. That's a small, you know, three-inch uh, DigiKey speaker. I also added a, um, a DC uh, jack. That's a, um, a switchable jack. So there's a battery inside the unit, but uh, also this um, this uh, traditional standard uh, two and a half millimeter, um, or yeah, whatever it is, <laughs> the size uh, jack uses a standard uh, uh, Boss uh, guitar pedal style for that. So. Um, the other interesting thing that I did is I also uh, added some uh, some alternate inputs uh, that perhaps you can see on here. So the, the first one is um, the uh, the VCO, right? So there's a there's a VCO um, input jack that's here. Uh, that is a um, standard uh, uh, one eighth inch uh, mono jack, uh, which I thought I thought would be easiest. It certainly has the lowest footprint, so it's easiest to, to fit on there to fit on the front panel. I had to drill holes to put these in. And um, it just uses a, uh, a regular um, 1 8 um, mono jack, as you can see here, that'll get in focus. So that those kind of fit into there. And then uh, you can drive that with an external um, external signal generator. And it gives you both the, the signal and the ground in one shot. So you don't have to, um, you don't have to supply um, an alternate ground. Uh, I also uh, put in the, um, the VCF alternate input here using that same jack configuration. And these are all of the, these are all the same, um, you know, upgrades and options that are called out in the uh, Music From Outer Space uh, website uh, under the noise toaster section. So nothing surprising there. The one surprising thing that I did was uh, I also put in a, uh, a jack, um, this, the same mechanical for the, um, um, for the uh, uh, attack re uh, release um, generator, the envelope generator. So, the output from the uh, the uh, AR uh, generator, the attack release uh, generator, goes into this switch, right, to control the modulation um, uh, of the VCO. Um, and in the off position, it is no longer kind of dead ended. This is a um, you know uh, um, single pole double throw switch. It now selects this alternate input. So, so again, I got alternate inputs for the VCO itself control the frequency, the um, voltage control uh, filter uh, to control um, what, what the filter's doing with the, uh, the VCO output, and also the um, attack release uh, generator as another selectable um, input point. So uh, the next thing um, I'm going to show is the, um, you know, some of the, uh, what, 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 what those controls can do um, with a, uh, an external signal generator. So that's coming right up. So the first sound demo I want to do it just uh, kind of shows that the um, the noise toaster that I built here um, is uh, working correctly uh, as is, and uh, it's a functioning unit. So um, here's the noise toaster itself. Uh, none of the external connections are plugged in. I do have the uh, the power jack just going into the wall over there, and again that's just a standard uh, Boss um, uh, 2.5 uh, whatever millimeter. Um, nine volt DC connection. And uh, so I'll just go ahead and turn it on. And uh, so it warms up and starts making noises. And uh, that's the VCO. The, right now the square wave is selected. That's with the input of the VCO off. This is the uh, triangle selected. So in the, the frequency control, up and down, almost to, to clicks or to nothing, to inaudible that's a very very high frequency range we'll leave it somewhere right in the middle both the modulation sources are kind of down and off um, 
if I select uh, the um, LFO mod depth, you can hear that, that it starts to kick in. So the depth basically selects how, how far the frequencies um, modulate from each other, how far they move away from each other, and you can change the shape of it. All these different shapes kind of work. I'll leave it at square. And it, that can obviously go with a decent range. And you can jack up the rate to the point where it sounds really weird. So that's the uh, functioning LFO. So kind of to isolate these things, we'll shut the LFO mod depth back off. So that's down back down to zero. And then we'll engage the uh, modulation, the uh, the uh, envelope generator. This is the AR mod depth, okay? Attack release mod depth. So as we jack that up, you can hear those kick in, right? And I've got this on repeat, and that's repeat. If you can disengage that, now you use the, uh, the single, the single gate, the momentary gate, that works just fine. So back to repeat, and you can change these attack and release rates with these controls. That all works fine. Bring the volume up a little bit there. You can jack these up to the point where it makes some very interesting noises. It kind of gets fun. Get some siren kind of noises. And you kind of mix in both LFO and uh, generator, you wind up with some really weird noises. Hence the noise toaster. This is the filter. You can hear that effect as well. And the noise. Noise is good for making kind of wind noises if you take out the VCO using the, uh, the cutoff frequency. I do use that a lot. Anyway, so there's the uh, the sounds all by their lonesome. Uh, next, I'll uh, introduce some of the uh, modulation effects with a uh, external source. <laughs> 